So this is a quick review of two kitchen scales from Amazon. The Escali costs somewhere between 20 and 25, and the Azari currently goes for about 10. These purport to be kitchen scales, so you should expect them to respond very quickly to the addition of ingredients. And the reason why that's important is that if you bake or do other sorts of cooking, often what you want is not to find out how much some arbitrary amount of stuff weighs, but to get an exact amount of ingredients. So for instance, you might want a specific amount of fluid and slowly add that until you see that actual value on the readout. And if that value is lagging significantly behind the actual weight on the scale, then it'll take forever to get the accurate amount. A lot of people think that accuracy is all you really care about. And you'll see that accuracy is not an issue. Both of these scales think that this container weighs exactly the same amount. The likelihood that they're both wrong in the same way is pretty low. So accuracy is fine. They're both within a gram. But how quick are they? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put bowls on here. I'm going to tear these so that both of them show zero. And then I'm going to take turns adding 50 grams of water to each bowl. And we'll see how well it keeps up with that. So I tried to stop when it was said 50 and said we got to 56, which means you need to anticipate a little bit. Now, I was being more careful with the Escali, and I still overshot. I think that probably the difference between these two readings here is just a matter of me being more careful in the second case, but I still had overshooting. Now I'm going to try to go to 100. And that's actually pretty good, but you notice I had to really slow down towards the end, because otherwise I'll way overshoot. And you can see, even with fairly careful pours, I'm getting overshoots. I would say these two scales are both performing about the same, which is to say they definitely lag. That's not too bad. So you can see trying to shoot for about 10% below what you want and then slowly pouring in is not a bad strategy. There you go. So you can overcome the lag in these displays by having an appropriate strategy for how much you pour in here. Now I have used a high speed camera to record the responses of these things. And there's definitely a significant amount of lag between the addition of weight and the change in the value displayed. And I think it's about the same between the two, which is to say neither are awesome. And I don't think that the Escali is better by the factor of 2x, which is how much more it costs. I think they're about the same. It's a shame, really, that they're so slow. I think older scales actually tended to do a little better. And the reason for this is the older scales didn't have fancy averaging of the values coming off of the sensor in here. They just displayed more or less what the sensor was reporting. And this meant that that last digit here tended to vary a little bit because you know, the sensor isn't perfect. There's going to be some noise. And people were bothered by that. They thought that, oh, that means scale is inaccurate. But the trade-off is that now the scale is always inaccurate. It's always showing you a lower value than what's really on the scale. Unless you just, you know, put a weight on there and then wait. So I think that's a real bummer. But what can you do? All right, one last fill up here. We're going to try to go to 250 this time. And we'll see how close we get. There we go. So if you perfect the technique, it's definitely possible. There we go. Not too bad. Still a little overshoot. Basically, even after having used both of these for a couple of weeks, I haven't been able to avoid some overshoot from pretty much every single pour. My older scale, my old cheap digital scale, worked better. Unfortunately, they no longer make that scale. So I think this is roughly speaking the best you can find on Amazon. The other scales that I have purchased and tried 
do significantly less well than either the Siskali or Ozori scale.